this incredible creation. We're calling this Create Expectations. And what it is, basically, <laughs> Tracy, is it's a return to the days when you didn't lacquer your furniture with shellac, and it wasn't all about brown furniture. It was really natural and really unfinished. Now, it's a huge look at the moment. If you check any of the big kind of blogging sites like House or Apartments, Apartment Therapy, you'll see it everywhere. Mm -hmm. But it can be quite a difficult look to compose because you might think you've got to buy everything made of pine and leave it like that. This is so affordable. We've used as our central motif a really easy to get your hands on 12 buck crate from Ikea. Yeah. And oftentimes when you've got one good thing and you play it many times together, you get a really powerful look. So that's what we're all about today, the unfinished timber look. I love it. So a lot of people will think college, university, when this is this was a major piece of furniture. Exactly. But now you've taken it to the next level, starting with this incredible storage system you have here. Yeah, you know, I mean, this is so, so simple. And if you have a look at that, you'll see there are different size crates, you know, so you want to mix it up, you know, and I think the smaller crates are like eight bucks or something, mm -hmm. you know, so not breaking the bank at all. What I would say is map it out on the floor first, you know, get an idea of the shape that you're trying to create, you know, so create a bit of space in the living room, map it out there and get a feel for the size that you're looking for. What I like about this is it's made up of building blocks, okay, yes. you know, so we're just using drywall screws onto the wall, you know, so it's really easy to do but you can actually create your own shapes. You can mm -hmm. fit into a space as well, so it's totally kind of like changeable. You can tailor it to your own requirements and it will fit any wall, any single wall. And really affordable, obviously. It's almost like doing the, the gallery wall with your, uh, with your pictures, right? Yeah, yeah. So you have to do it on the ground first and plan it out, as you said, so that you know it's gonna work when yep. you put it up there. Don't be haphazardly no. putting up crates and Use then the, it doesn't work in the end. A spirit level as well, Tracy, is your best yes. friend. You know, a plumb line and a spirit level will make sure that everything's really, really straight. It's detailed, it's really Lovely. important. And then you put all your collectibles and of course you edit. Of course you Only do. You put the stuff that you want out there That's to right. showcase. Do you know, you might have a big collection but our biggest advice for collectors is don't have it all out at one time. Yeah. Display part of it, rotate it on a week-to-week -week basis or a month-to-month -month basis, yeah. well, and then it seems really it. fresh. Yeah, exactly. seasonalize it. And remember about storage as well. It's the two Ds. Display and discreet. Double D, Display, Colin. Double D. Double D's. It's got to be double D storage. <laughs> exactly. That's a big box up no, there. It is. It is. Exactly. <laughs> double D storage, okay? Display is open like these crates. We want to see our books. We want to see beautiful flowers. Discreet. All your paperwork, all the things we don't want to see. Yes. You can get storage boxes. Put them in there, you know, just keep it under control. Use one color. Tell a color story as well. And then your crates are going to totally rock. You know, I love Benjamin Moore gray on the wall as well. Mm. Really works well with natural wood. Very nice. Yeah, there's they also, work great together. There's also a real 1980s feel, I think, Tracy. And you mentioned yes. kind of college days, uni days. I went to university. I started in 1986 in Glasgow. And you're right, crates were my best friend. We yeah. use them for everything. Back then, I didn't quite have the creative ability that I hope we've got now. So they were just kind of haphazardly chucked around. <laughs> Today, it's totally. all about tailoring. And I think a good example of tailoring is this little credenza unit that we've made at the front here. Simply made by locking boxes together with these really simple ah. little devices. These are 12 bucks or 10 bucks from Home Depot, mm -hmm. and they're really simple. Now, you can screw your crates together for extra stability, but this is so easy, you know, just completely held together by these, nothing's moving. With little wheels on the bottom, so you can Smart. transport it from space to space. You've got storage at the back as well, and that kind of speaks to what Colin said about display and discreet. Perhaps you've got things you want to hide away in your room to kind of really diminish the clutter. Mm -hmm. So stick it in the back, the stuff you don't want to see. Display it fr uh, proudly at the front, the stuff that you want to have on show. That is so good. So you can use this as an entertainment system. You can put, you know, uh, as long as the weight holds. Oh, of course. A TV up on here, or a stereo up on here, or turntables up yeah. on here. And um, it's super flexible, Tracy. Do you know, you can flexible. change the shape. You could stack that up high. Yeah. You could make it longer. I think at the end of the day, it's all about stuff that you can make work for your space. If you can find something as simple as a little affordable crate and make your home that much more flexible, then you're onto a winner. Mm. Absolutely, and that's what we're about here for our viewers, for sure. For sure. Yesterday with that, you know, we were playing with that, and if you imagine that there was another crate on the side closest to you, uh -huh. and then you maybe took that one off, you would have this kind of like building block step yes. up look, you know? So don't be afraid to, uh, you know, play with the boxes before you commit yourself. Modular is our key Modular, word. Modular right. is our modus jure. It is. I love that. Uh, crates again, we're making crates great again. Um, we're using them as a desk. Now, it's okay. a really simple tabletop from Ikea, and a couple of legs on the end there, and you see that we've got eight crates in here as well. In fact, we've got four crates, sorry, four 
four crates in there. Do your maths, maths Colin. It's terrible. <laughs> um, we've got four crates in there, and we've put some little casters on the end, and it gives it almost that kind of wheelbarrow feel. So if you want to move it around, you know, you just pick it up from right. here, which is great if you're in a smaller apartment and you move your furniture around. You know, maybe one day it's your dining table, the next day it's your desk. Right. You know, so if you can move things around easier, that's going to be a good look. These are your best friends. Hello. Uh, these so are from are the IKEA for as well. And these are the legs for the table, but you can actually adjust the height ah. of these. It's so, so easy so that you can tailor this to your requirements. If you wanted it higher, like for a wrapping station, yes. if you wanted to go lower for a desk like this, but it means that you can get it right because you can use your crates and your wheels and then set this to the height that you require. So it's not going to be sitting like this yeah. and then all your pencils are going to roll off and no one wants that. Nobody I don't wants want that. that. Exactly. This is lightweight too, so if you are going to wheelbarrow it from room to room, it's, dead uh, easy. it's so it's easy to do easy, that. Really easy. We played around with a couple of rugs as well. Rug on rug is a huge thing yes. at the moment. Everywhere we go, we're seeing designers using stacked rugs. If you've got something like this and you have got that of area where you might think, could I potentially trip on that? Well, mm. don't worry. Get yourself a little stabilizing membrane, which you can pick up in IKEA for a few for a few dollars. Stick that underneath, and that will really problem solve any kind of trip hazards as well. But I love okay. that. And the good thing about rugs when they're built on top of each other is it's a great way to fill an awkward shape. Because yeah. if you've got a square rug or a rect or a rectangular rug, that's the shape of it. Mm -hmm. But if you could, you've got a couple of things like that, you can move them around to fill your floor space. So problem solved. So it's an adhesive that you can put on the yeah, bottom. Yeah, rubber mattress okay, and you can good. cut it to size as well it's really worth thing a few dollars to give you safety at home absolutely that important okay love this guys uh